Hi all it's easy here. I hope you all doing well. Today video is a div blog for War Thunder so let get into it. Link to Discord and Patreon are below. T90M, Modernized Breakthrough. We're excited to be showing you one of the first brand new Rank 8 ground vehicles coming to the game in the next major update. Say hello to the utmost modern representative of the T90 family of MBTs created under the Breakthrough Modernization Program. T90M, an MBT for the USSR tree at Rank 8 features. New turret design. Frontal Relic TRA protection. Barrel launched ATGMs. Laser warning system, LWS. Reduced number of weak spots. Very slow reverse speed. The T90 MMBT was developed by the Ural Design Bureau of Transport Engineering under the Breakthrough Modernization Program. During this development, the T90 family of tanks received a new welded turret, featuring Relic TRA, an improved engine, and a modern fire control system, which includes a panoramic commander sight and multi channel for the gunner's sight. This modernized variant was presented to the general public in 2017, and since 2019 T-90M tanks have begun to enter service with the Russian Federation's army. Meet the T-90M. A fantastic all-new T-90 variant, the T-90M will be added to War Thunder in the next major update at rank 8 of the USSR's ground forces tree. The T-90M is at the forefront of the T-90 family of tanks featuring a new welded turret with built-in modular ERA and a new fire control system. Let's take a look at what this formidable beast has to offer. One of the first things you'll have noticed with the T-90M is that its turret looks slightly different to its predecessors, and that's correct. This tank features a new welded turret with an extended bustle at the back that holds a selection of the ammunition. Thanks to this addition, some shells that were previously located in the main fighting compartment have been moved into this new isolated area, helping to improve the T-90M's survivability when penetrated from the front. A new welded turret also needs some sort of reactive protection and this is exactly what has been added to the T-90M. This tank features relic TRA scattered across the turret's side and front as well as the upper front plate, which in turn will help you survive extra hits from ATGMs fired from tanks and helicopters. Moving on to guns and ammo, which the T-90M inherits from the T-90A, a 125mm smoothbore cannon that can fire tandem charge 9M119 M1 ATGMs, ETFs, E and 2 EPFs rounds. However, what's changed the most is the fire control system. This addition means the commander now has a new panoramic sight, the gunner and commander have fantastic thermal sights, plus a very handy laser range finder. You may have also noticed that the Stra 1 active protection system, the red looking eyes, is absent on the T90M, however this tank still has a laser warning system, allowing you to react to missile threats in advance. As for mobility, the T-90M has a new engine with enough additional power to compensate for its increased mass. Despite this increased weight, this tank is as fast and vigorous as you'd come to expect with Russian MBTs, however the burning question you may have is if its reverse speed is any better, and the answer is no. Tragically, it still inherits a measly 4 km per hour reverse speed from its predecessors, so be sure to keep this in mind when in battle. The intimidating T-90M will be added to the USSR's ground forces research tree at the all-new rank 8 in the next major update. Until then, continue to keep an eye out for dev blogs on our website and see you soon.